Hi Church, we are continuing our Own It series this week with the new topic of owning your capacity. And the scripture we're reading from this week is Matthew 14 verses 13 to 21. In the NIV it reads, When Jesus heard what had happened, he withdrew by boat privately to a solitary place. Hearing of this, the crowds followed him on foot from the towns. When Jesus landed and saw a large crowd, he had compassion on them and healed their sick. As evening approached, the disciples came to him and said, this is a remote place and it's already getting late. Send the crowds away so they can go to the villages and buy themselves food. Jesus replied, they do not need to go away. You give them something to eat. We have here only five loaves of bread and two fish, they answered. Bring them here to me, he said, and he directed the people to sit down on the grass. Taking the five loaves and the two fish and looking up to heaven, he gave thanks and broke the loaves. Then he gave them to the disciples, and the disciples gave them to the people. They all ate and were satisfied, and the disciples picked up about 12 basketfuls of broken pieces that were left over. The number of those who ate was about 5,000 men, besides women and children. So the second way that we can increase our capacity is to give what we have to Jesus, and on a daily basis to step into the, the supernatural. In Matthew 14, verses 18, Jesus says, bring them here to me. And the disciples handed over what they had and they acknowledged that Jesus was supernatural and that he was able to activate this miraculous multiplication. For increase, we have to go and walk with Jesus and bring what we have to him. Yesterday's point of taking initiative was about it being our responsibility. But today we're actually looking at God's responsibility. When we hand over and we submit to Jesus, he brings the increase and what we have previous, um, he brings the increase to what we have previously felt was impossible. That feeling of I can't do anymore um, is actually where Jesus come and activates something super, supernatural and multiplies things beyond anything that we could ever imagine. So church, I just encourage you today to ask yourself, how is your daily walk with God? Um, am I in a habit of daily surrender? What does that look like? Am I holding anything back from God that causes my life to be limited? Do we trust God and are we surrendering to him on a daily basis? They're all such big questions and I just really encourage you today to spend some time thinking them through. Um, and I'm really excited for all that God's going to do for throughout the day. Hope you have a blessed day.